Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Hot Topic with Every So Beautiful Friday here at RCM Studio. It's been a long weekend. It's finally Friday. Oh, it's actually 4th of July weekend, so um, it's a long weekend, I believe, and a lot of fun cookouts out there. Anyways, um, today's episode, we're going to be talking about um, something that's really important that, and I believe that we really do need to talk about in today's um in our society today is um, domestic violence and relationships. Um, and I have a guest with me today, Steven. Drum rolls for Steven. How are you doing? Uh, we're giving you the drum <laughs> What do you want me to do? I'm sitting down here already. It's not like you laid a red carpet. We're giving, we're giving you. <laughs> actually, welcome. You're stepping on oh, red really? carpet. This All is right, red then. carpet. Thank you very much. Meet Night Job Media. I mean, thank you for coming on the show. You're welcome. How are you feeling today? I'm good. Anyways, let's dive right into the topic. Um, so today we're talking about domestic violence um, mm -hmm. in relationship. And um, I feel like pretty much all year it's been like from one story to another on social media, blogs and everything, talking about domestic violence. And it's majorly focused on, you know, men hitting their wives or guys hitting their girlfriends and I do know and I know I understand that domestic violence is just not you know one-sided it's all men also suffer domestic violence yeah. and that's just the truth although I believe a lot of men don't come out and actually talk about it um because you know they don't want to look weak or just Whatever the male ego no, men are or, just not trained that way or, or they're not raised that way to exactly speak about stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. But you know the fact that women come out all the time, oh, my husband hit me, or a lot of women die from domestic violence, yeah. it doesn't mean, like, men don't suffer from domestic violence. Yeah. So, um, I was, today, I was able to put together some points and all, like, I feel like, especially in marriages, when you get married to somebody or when you're dating somebody, before it actually gets to, you know, where you get married and he, your husband is hitting you every day, you must have seen signs. Yeah, that's, that's the part that signs, always me. Like, right. that sign has been there the whole time. You just thought it was going to go away, which the sad truth is it actually doesn't because there's still something you're going to do. I mean, I'm not saying it's right. right. It's not, I mean, there's no reason why you should put your hand on the woman in any place, but you should have seen that from the beginning and you should have known this is what you're going to sign up for and right. you should have done smart thing and left exactly so i feel like um when you see the signs i just feel like personally i don't care how much i love you mm -hmm. walk away you well, gotta walk I mean, away i guess people would say oh, love is complicated and you always pray and hope the person is going to change and then it happens again and be like oh i'm going to pray again and hope it changes and it's like an endless vicious cycle you just keep going and going and going and going to help themselves for real like but yeah well tell that to someone that's in love it's it's reality like when you're in love i do understand you're in love but there's some things that like are just like come on no nah, i can't yeah. face this i can't i'm not going to deal with this i mean if a man hits you once or twice he's got to do it again yeah and these are the signs that I believe, um, okay, let's say people always say, oh, the woman must have done something for a man to want to put yeah, his well, hands on her. It doesn't matter. And I do, I do understand that, but. I feel like there's not, there's not an excuse to put your hands on a woman. So, for example, in this case, I know this girl. Her ex-boyfriend used to hit her all the time. And so this one time, he just used to hit her because he, he's angry. He got anger problems, like insecure, angry, and all. This one time, she was just trying to get his attention. It was not like not yelling. He was playing like a video game. Like she just took the controller. It was like, I'm, you know, I will spend time with you. And dude got angry and started hitting her. So, <laughs> now you're laughing. Nah, that's, that's, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> not that he hit her, the fact that she grabbed the controller because I'm not going to lie, I can imagine like I'm sitting down playing FIFA. So you're going to hit a woman? It, no, no, nah, exactly. that's what I'm saying. So here's the thing, yeah. As I said before, there is no reason whatsoever Absolutely no why reason. you should do I mean, you have to learn how to control your anger. Right. Remember that, you know, you're not exactly fighting someone who can necessarily fight back with your strength mm -hmm. so i mean some common sense if you i think if you're raised properly you should oh, know 
if you're raised properly, you should know, like, no matter what happens, right. just don't lay your hands on a woman. woman. Now, having said that, I think some women literally, now some women, I think, do it intentionally to get that reaction out of the man. Why now, would a I'm woman want to be not, slapped or bidding? It's not, no. So some women are actually very vindictive. They, will, they can just come out and say, okay, I, I know he has anger issues, so I am going to... It's like maybe she's been telling people, oh, this is the kind of person he is, which I don't get why women... Sometimes some women actually go, like, talk bad about the person they're with behind their back, and guys then they're still with that? the person. No, I'm giving you an example of a woman no, who's thinking... No, guys don't do that? Guys don't do that? I don't know anyone who does. I, I can't say guys don't do that because right. I don't know anyone personally who does that. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, if you're going to do that, why are you still with the person in the first place? Now, some people will just go out of their way to do shit like that. And then when nobody believes them, mm -hmm. they can now come back and say, okay, look, he hit me. Meanwhile, she actually went to provoke him. I'm going to give you an example. Yeah. One of my exes mm -hmm. knew in college I had a really horrible, I, like, I could not control my temper at all. Right. And one time, it got to the point where she was literally throwing stuff at me, waiting to see what I was going to do. And I'm like, there are people in the room with me looking at what's going on. Mm -hmm. Now, we had a fight before, so nobody right. really understood what was going on. What was going and on? And she's just throwing stuff and throwing stuff, because she knew at a point in time I was going to snap. Right. And the truth is, I actually did snap, and I literally slapped her on the face. I, felt like, I felt like crap after that. Oh, that was it, but I felt like crap, crap because there's no that. reason why. why? Yeah. But then the reaction on her face when I actually hit her. It was like, oh my it's God, like you can actually I can see the this. smile hiding there. Because <laughs> it's like people no, were No, I don't believe that. No, people were actually like, looking oh, so at me. So you're pretty much trying to like, say, oh, oh. Yeah, like she got that satisfaction. Like, oh, you're like the devil in the relationship. Like, that's you're actually what person. she wanted. That's, I, I don't believe, believe, I don't believe a woman would actually want to go that far. What? Really? You know, just to prove a point. I think the clear examples of women going as far as they want to prove. Look, that's what I say. Women are literally the most powerful people. Between, like, women, between two species, women are actually yeah, we are. most powerful. So, trust me, there is no, when a woman sets her mind to do something, she will do it. <laughs> now, at the end of the day, still doesn't give the excuse to hit her. Just get up and walk away. Now, I, my method of controlling my anger is if, I'm, if, we're, having, like, if we're actually having an argument and right. I feel like I'm getting mm -hmm. really angry, I just stand up and walk away. Women hate that, but trust me, I would rather walk Big, away. Now, nah, here's the thing, right? It's not like down. we hate it. I'm like, I'm, this is how I am. When I'm mad, with you, when I'm mad at you, I want to squash this question right yeah, there. But then, do you, but do you believe, I mean, do you actually think when two people are angry, you can have a sensible conversation no, there and cannot. then and come to any agreement. No, you can't. No, exactly. So why That's not why just go back person, to your corners? One person got to stay cool for the other. Both of us can be on this level. One what? person got to be on this level and the other got to be right So here. is it always going to be them? Well, I'm not, I'm not saying, saying the man possible. always has to be like the one that has to, you know, be like calm. A woman can be calm too. Like I said earlier, we men hit men. Yeah. I, like I know a guy that like, Look at Freeze. He's um he's a radio personality. He's like you know him. And I've heard a, of him. Yeah. yeah, he's always having something to say on Instagram. His ex-wife used to hit him, like all the time. I know, like he's one out of a thousands and millions. Who knows a man who go through that in their relationships in their homes, and vice versa. I've seen a boyfriend, you know, kill his girlfriend, bear her up to death. I've been stabbed. Right, you know, because of the same domestic violence. Like, was it last month? I like I read about a lot of a lot of girls in South Africa being killed by their. Oh boyfriend. yeah, I, I saw that. It was that, just this heart. Yeah, that is actually. I think that's basically people who have no regard for women at all. Right. And that's where the problem is. So I think our. I don't know if I say our generation because I mean you still think of parents who actually like our parents. Right would have gone through that phase or also we need to well i think maybe the proper way to fix it is starting from our generation is look when you have a child you have a son mm -hmm. you have to instill the same way our parents always instill that discipline to us where right. literally when you're about to do something stupid remember your father's or your mother's voice in your head mm -hmm. that same thing should be instilled in your children like do not hit women see i totally agree with that, that i really do agree with there's that there's nothing 
that a woman will ever do to you mm -hmm. that would warrant because in the middle of you hitting her you're just going to lose your mind and you can end up killing her like the other, right. the other people who end up killing their girlfriends their girlfriends and it's just not worth like um that's totally true because i think i read a story of chris brown where he said his dad used to hit his mom or something like that is it and that yeah yeah, I remember. I think his he would dad, think that's normal to him. Right, yeah, look at what he does. And yeah. I read, like, his ex girlfriend, Car Car Caruccia, what's her name? Well, he hit her too? Yes, he used to hit her. I feel like that's going to continue being a trend because he believes it's okay. It's obviously, he knows it's not okay, but yeah. he grew up thinking that was okay. Yeah. And so now, the question is. When is the right time to walk away, like in that what? kind of relationship? Because some women will be like, mm, "I'll do it for my child." Nah, I'll see, that's another thing. So, pe women always do that. I'm staying because of my child and stuff or like that. It shouldn't they think, be. They think you know how you know Nigerian Africans. Generally, yeah, it should like you once you're married yeah. and you got like two, three kids, nobody else wants you. Yeah, no, nah, that's not. That's not, and that's that's an African mentality. Mm -hmm. And it's very dangerous to think that way. It definitely because is dangerous because a lot of people. There's more dad. to life than granted. That's your child, mm -hmm. but if you really want to enjoy seeing your child, you need to be alive. To and see child. you don't also want to raise a child in that. Yeah, kind that's of, gonna see know? that and think it's normal because now you're just basically telling that child it's okay. It's okay. It's really if you have a daughter mm -hmm. now she's gonna think it's okay for your husband to hit you hit and still you. stay. Mm -hmm. This cycle is basically not being broken at all. You're just going on and on and on and on. That's the dangerous part. But what I think women need to learn, it's okay to actually walk away. Mm -hmm. Hell, you don't even, I mean, you don't necessarily have to be with someone else if you don't want to. Right. Take time and just recover and just enjoy yourself. Enjoy your children. When it's time to find love again, you will find love. But just run away from that madness. Run, like, I'm telling because would, a lot of people say, oh, I'll just stay, you know, for my kids. And no. they die. You can die. Exactly. <laughs> You're going to die they before die. your kids. Look at this woman. Early last year, she literally stabbed her husband to death because she was angry. He died, I'm sure. That had been happening literally um, that night before, you know, he came back home. They, he hit her, now she hit him, and, you know, he was seriously injured. He left the house, and then their families brought them back together that night. You know, they settled everything. But she was so angry yeah. at whatever he did, and she stabbed him. I'm sure that has been going on, and, you know, he would have probably been like, I don't want people to think, you know, I, I don't want to leave my marriage. Yeah. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I, so I love her, it's... and now he's no more. And she's still here, alive, so and still living. The, there's this thing that a pastor in church says. I, he's always, like, he's against divorce, but there's one thing he had to say. I remember one Sunday, he was like, I do not condone divorce, but the minute one of you is basically being abused at that point in time, leave. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what anyone Whatever. thinks about your marriage, what anyone thinks about you. Because if you're dead, basically once you're dead, they're just going to move on to the next person, of to course. the next topic that's going on. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to go basically be another statistic. And well, that doesn't do you any good because now you left your whole family behind. It's, it just doesn't make any sense to me why people still stay. I mean, I understand some people say it's love, but well, do you love think is not love? Love is never enough in a marriage. It's not. Mm -mm. So it's always more than love. Like, once your love is gone and mm -hmm. present in you, what else is left for you to do? It's clear that person basically, especially when you stay, mm -hmm. the guy is gonna think, or the other person is gonna think, it's okay for them to continue doing Meeting it. You're you never gonna say, leave. Hey, I'm sorry, blah. You yeah, know, and then they do it again and again. I mean, do you think if the guy gets help, I don't know, it could, I don't know. Do you think they can ever stop or Except that could ever change? Except God intervenes in your life. Because I... I don't know. Any, what, what sort of help are you talking about? See, like a... A therapist? A, yeah, what? or something. What's a therapist going to do? Why does it take a therapist because, to tell you you well, need to stop sure. hitting your, your spouse? Wife, right, your spouse. It shouldn't take a therapist, like, it really should not take another person to tell you. That's common sense. Obviously. Now, if you say, if the, if the husband or wife, who's the one doing the, basically now says, okay, I realize what I'm doing is wrong, mm -hmm. and I will actually go get, like, for anger management. Right. That's a different case. Mm-hmm. 
I'm saying that's a different case because there's still some sort of, it's not exactly 100% sure that sure. that person is coming back exactly. cured because anger is not something, speaking from experience, anger is not something you just let And I go. think when it comes to anger, you have to make up your own mind. Yeah, exactly. You have to make up your that, mind that. And you have to learn to control yourself. Yeah. You know, and speaking of, um, I mean, you know, how, hey, you hit your spouse today, you say, oh, I'm sorry, it's not going to happen again. So today I was actually on this blog today, and Mercy Agbe, she's a Nigerian actress. Apparently she went through domestic violence in a marriage, and her husband is always hitting her. Sometimes, like, last year, a couple years ago, you know, everybody kind of noticed her swollen face. And, you know, she and her husband kind of made a video talking about, oh, no, my husband don't hit me. We're good. <laughs> really? My marriage is very perfect. And then a year later, you know, she had to come out like enough is enough. So she, the man has been denying that, oh, I don't hit you. You know, she, she has video proof, pictures and everything. Her friends could testify. And so what was the reason why, I mean, what was the reason behind coming out to do that video when you knew it was happening like did he that's force, part her, to, of did women he force saying, her to do the video that's part of women saying hey i don't want to leave my marriage apparently that's her second marriage so i'm guessing oh she's like i don't want this one to you know i don't want to get a divorce from this one again so pretty much um she showed uh she shared a a screenshot of a dm between her and her husband where you know her husband was like, I promise I wouldn't hit you anymore. And she's like, <laughs> it's getting too much. I really need you to promise me you're not going to do this what, anymore. What's a promise going to do? Like, yeah, if it's right been back going in on, it. Like, He's going to hit you again. It's been going on for, what, apparently it sounds like years. Years. So it's been going on for years. Him saying a promise. Now, words are like the easiest thing to roll out in any situation. Definitely it is. You but know, then if you're not going to back it up with your actions, what's the whole point? Well, I guess, well, sadly, I'm going to get, are they still together? No. She I mean, left him. It looks like she's really on it this time. Well, because, good for her. Yes, because, and, um, and also this girl, um, Tonto DK. And oh. Yeah, her story was just ridiculous, you know. She she was actually not really worried about him cheating. Like she said, she was just worried about, you know, the violence, the domestic violence she had to go through. And like, as usual, her husband, and she said she just kept being in the marriage because she loved him and she just wanted yeah. to make it work. She said it wasn't for her son or anybody. She just wanted to make it work. But unfortunately, it didn't work out. That's, you know? that's really sad because sad. I know there are women who genuinely love their husbands their husband. and really wish yeah. they would change, but... The truth about it is, if if no one really, if a person really doesn't want to change, you can't, do anything. Going, you can't change anyone. You can't. Only you really that can't. person and God can can't change, change themselves. themselves because it's just gonna, it's gonna basically stay in one way or another. You're gonna leave that marriage either by your choice or in a coffin. Mm, uh, you're yeah, leaving the marriage. Pretty one much. Way or the other. Pretty much. So I really believe I feel like the only way out of this is if you see signs or anything, leave, leave in one piece. Yeah. Alive. It's better to leave. You can always find love. That's fine. Yeah. Cry if you need to cry. Move on. You know, start over. Leave. Because you're going to. You, well, you just never let's know. Let's pray women actually start listening when people tell them to leave. I feel like, you know, I feel like African culture is starting to change. You know, women are starting to. Yeah, women are starting to be that. open it's and okay. break away, break free from right. that tradition it's okay. of. It's okay you to be a single mom. Yeah. It's okay to, you know, not be in my husband's house. It's okay not to be married as long as I'm alive, you know, I'm happy. Yeah. It's really okay. It really is okay. It really well, is okay. I hope everybody learns. I really wish men would just, well, some and men, whoever do that, just women behave. Too. And, and I do believe some women do hit their spouse, you know. Yeah. And God bless those men who go through that because I can't imagine my wife hitting me. Like if when I get married and my slap. wife is hitting me, like I don't know. I I mean I've done so much control myself. But so I know I this, would have to run away I know this <laughs> to man, make sure I don't do anything stupid. I know this man. Um, he he was newly married then, and he was telling me how himself and his wife they were arguing one time. Like you know, it was really heated and all. And then she literally raised her hand to give him a like, wuss on his face. 
And first he ducked, and then... <laughs> He's trying to process what's going on. Right, and then the second time he ducked, and then the third time was like, I'll fight his bitch. He just <laughs> held her hand like, you're not, you're not about to try that with me. And, you know, and he walked away from that situation. You know, yeah. it's not easy, but we just have to it's, learn. No, it's just not easy. Pray. That's why I say always I pray before be, you end up with someone. Yes, yes, because that's really important. you never know, and people never realize that, like, the person you're dating, mm -hmm. the day after you get married, you are now with someone totally different from who you were dating because people evolve into totally different people in marriages. Well, that's true. So that's, that's true. I mean, people need to pray. You just pray before just you pray. end up with someone because, as even as something as, as simple as dating, because it can. I it mean, would drive you crazy. It would, you can just and people pick up bad habits from dating, which is why imagine someone who's gone through hitting their girlfriends or their girlfriends through dating. It now comes into marriage, like, his guy's finished, like, been hitting four or five girlfriends, mm -hmm. and then he marries someone, and he, he carries it over. That's normal for him. Mm -hmm. So they, people, we need to raise our children to, like, break away from that. That's that important, because act. If, we, if we don't do that, it's just going to keep going on and on and on. I can't imagine, on. like, <laughs> if I have a daughter and her husband is hitting, I will kill him. Yeah, like seriously, I would literally kill him. You can kill me after that. I don't care. I'm telling like, you. I can go to jail, rather. I don't care. But you can't lay your hand on my daughter. God, I can't imagine a man putting their hands on me. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> this fragile buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I do want to say, you know, as a woman, I'm I'm gonna be honest. We are a lot. We're a lot. Oh yeah. It's it's just who we are. But that's why you gotta pray for the right person to come yeah. your way. Anyways, so. My, my advice is that if you sense any domestic violence in your relationship, bounce. Bounce. Like, it's not that hard. Just leave. And just bounce. There's somebody else out there who would appreciate you, yep. honor you, and all that love. So, anyways. Thank you very much. That's the end of today. Thank you so much for coming on the show. High five. Thank you for having me. Awesome. You are an amazing co-host. Anyways, guys, thank you for show, um, tuning in. This is Hot Topic with Abby every Friday on RCM Media. Till next week.